What a do, YouTube squad. It's your word, whatever. So, about the bigger, bigger. That's a day. I say that's a day game. Today, we have a uh, a little special one for y'all, brother. Today, we call it Lake Baby. All right, little basketball. We're a girl named Meredith. It's 1986. And we're in Providence Oaks. And now uh, we're just gonna be working on a lake, man. Basically. But before we get to this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do this in the bigger, bigger. So, I try to record with Turn of the Bloody Nights for y'all, but the audio didn't record. So, yeah. All right. Let's get it. See, added 87. What the heck? Oh, dude, it's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. Hey, you taking him to his car, man? Bro. Chill with her. It's like, chill. I can uh, spend two stress free weeks out. You know, I'll do so. Hello? There it is. Steve, Are they all voice acting? I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Yeah, the right. game? I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. You know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. She ain't had to smack Thanks their so keys like that, bro. Out, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. Okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me. I Got picked up in the mail truck? No problem, Meredith. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Oh, that car is going two, two miles per hour. Day. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Get ready to roll. That is the most illegal turn I've ever seen in my life, bro. He did not stop or nothing. This music is this probably lake. copyrighted. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir. What's the plan? Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. So we're going to be delivering mail game? We got the pouch and everything. All right, so we got WASD to walk around. Can we look around and walk? Okay, we can. Makes it a whole lot easier. Walk to the mailbox? Okay. Oh my God, the sensitivity on this thing, bro. I can't walk no faster. Nothing too difficult. White I, mom. Walk, I think bro. I should be able to face the challenge. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Is this going to be the entire game? <laughs> I swear to God. I swear. I want my money back. I'll pay $7 for this. This is the only package? Are, we, are you sure we're on High Street? Okay. We got. Oh, uh, walk up to the front door. Oh, bro, this sensitivity is crazy. Why she walk like this? All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Hit a little five walk, bro. You're supposed to be Amazon. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out. What time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. You See real you life working Adios. at the post office? You have a job. You have a tech job, my guy. You just went from work to work. Frank, I love my key. Frank, I love my key. Hey, Frank, where are you going? I really, hey, hey, police. You guys are at a stop sign, Frank. the time to leave Providence Oaks? What does this fit, bro? Ooh. That's my parents' house? Is it allowed? She looks about 40. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. One more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. I'm tearing up blueberry pie. Ugh. Ready for your first day? John, I guess. It's a great day to be on the road, so you're good to She's go. She's literally working oh, on her off time. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. No, I probably, need, I probably that. need that. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. He had the pedal mustache and everything. We real life gotta go around delivering mail? Is that all we do? Ain't no way that's all we do in this game, bro. Ain't no way to smell simulator, my guy. Where the map in the back at? 
Oh, he's, I, I could talk to Frank. Hey, what'd they do, Frank? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. If, it, if it's so easy, Frank, how about you do it? Well, I gotta do it. I want two weeks off. Who works on their two weeks off? Oh, shoot, we got random pedestrians. Hey, what a do? Is that Carla from high school? She said she left for college 22 years ago. That's 64. That's crazy. Run them over. For the run them over. I can't run people over. That's that BS, bro. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, what? Where are we at? We're on Main Street, right? So it's gonna be this one, 207 Main Street. What on earth did these folks order? Man, I don't know that. It's none of our business, Kyle. This is two, this is not 207. Where's 207 Main Street? Is this 207 Main Street? Yes. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. So now you're back, huh? Well, actually, it's only temporary. That's what I said, too. Cigarette in the hand? I wonder if it's going to rain today. If it rains, I'm, I'm done, Frank. Me and Frank are fine. If I'm doing the math right, let's say that she went to college when she was 18, right? She left 22 years ago. So she was 18 in 1964. She was 18 in 1964. That means she was born in 1940, 44, 40, 46. Uh, do I just park these people? Let's just park these people. Oh, right. Let's park here. This East First Street. Okay, I don't have a 103 East First Street. Oh, you know what? How do I, how do I get the mail? Get the, oh, I just put it in there. Is this really what we're, I mean, when you think about a lake, you don't really think about mail, my guy. Am I doing math right? Okay, so 1946, I did the math right. Which means today, this girl will be 40. This is a 40 year old woman. This is how you drive. And then you turn. Take a wide turn, take a wide turn, take a wide turn. This thing is slow. Yeah, dang. <laughs> today, she would be 86, she's 40. In 2006, the year I was born. She'd be 70. And 16 years later, she'd be Mara? 96 years uh, old. It's you, all right? Wow, Maureen, long time no see. Well, hello to well, you. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Maureen is a crazy don't name. be like that now. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. Well, it ain't making you more distinguished. Coffee? Something stronger? It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie? You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Actually, I try to help these days. Man, you know so me too well, Maureen. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, is everything okay, hon? You do not look that concerned. I, I kind of heard what she said. She said, everything's fine. You stay out there. And it sounds good. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything. You hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Got you, Maureen. We got you. All right, bro. I don't. I don't. Okay. I mean, I didn't really sign up to play. Y'all see the skills? Y'all see the skills? Y'all see the skills? Oh wait. Right, right side of the road. My bad. Yeah, baby. I mean, this game, don't get me wrong, this game is very peaceful, very calming, but I'm thinking like we're going to be exploring, something more like on the on the, on the the edge of like life is straight, but like we're going to be exploring, we're going to be talking to people. Actually enjoying this. I'm not. Be honest with you. Life is your hand. I'm going to these people's backyard. Okay. Can I walk into these people's house? I, I, I thought this game was going to be more action packed, but on the bright side, you know, we can, we can talk. Hey, I heard that, bro. I heard the morning dub, bro. Oh, sure, I gotta go back to my truck. This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Oh, shoot, I can sit on the bench. So look at the view. Okay. All right, these graphics are fire, though. Nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a driver, bro. Stop. And now we go.
This is 200 Lake Road. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Hello, cat. Oh, God. Bye, cat. It's like four. Five. Six. Oh, oh we have look, a... Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello, Mail woman. Man. What's your name, then? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? You do remember me, don't you? Oh, she's a cat lady. And uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Why is it? Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. You think? I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's shaped like a teddy bear. It's plushy. I mean, I have to take it out of the van and I have buy Well, it's probably another gift from my son. I'm sure he means well. He's probably busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. All right, Miss Jenkins, you're getting a little too disrespectful. Don't no make me have to slap an old woman, all right? I will slap you across your face. This is a car right behind me, bro. My guy, go around. Hey, you're paying for that game. What's your shirts? What's your shirts? You better have Geico. I'm up on the gas station. I didn't bring the package. What do you, what do you care about a package of this sort of a conversation, gang? Okay? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't have, I don't think a mustache or suit. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Thomas is my father, does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Gotcha. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. You don't even know my- I even take my day! Oh wait no. I told her I told her my um my father's name. She just must know my father's last name. Oh shoes on I pray this music is not copyrighted. Oh, we're going down a long road. Alright, M. Alright, so we wanna go this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this music off. I think that's 100% copyrighted. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. This is not sketchy or shady or nothing that. Nah. Alright, let's get up out of here so we can get up out of here. It's There's peaceful. a new face. Oh. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? Last time I saw a human being was about mm, six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... That mm. doesn't sound good. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Peace. Oh, y'all see his skills? Man, they need to put me in a new Fast and Furious movie, bro. Alright, we're gonna take this road and go this way. Ooh, yeah, deer crossing. I hit a deer. I'm joking, guys. I did not square animal cruelty, but there was a deer just crossing right there. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. This? When? 57? Oh my god, you can't just jaywalking! Police! Police! Get these criminals off our streets! Jaywalking almost hit you, cuz! Let me park this bad boy. Now you know what? I'm gonna reverse park it. Alright, thank you. Ah, oh my god! My beautiful, beautiful. Hello? 
How are you? How's the job? I'm out doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Dad said it's <laughs> strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How was that? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. Talk soon. See, I'm gonna watch TV, stay home and read the book. What type of TV is that? That TV is ancient. What can they play? It ain't got none of the good shows. I mean, let's just watch TV though. Let's see what it's play. Previously on Bon Appetit. Henri! Dang, dang. Did someone call me? All right, bro. Let's uh, we got some mail to deliver. Let's see the map. Uh, okay. So it's not too bad. Let's see. This is gonna be probably the most problematic. So we're gonna save that for last, and then I'm probably gonna end this video. Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive, followed by the weather. I got some mail yard package or something. All right. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Well, I wasn't I invited. Oh, shoot. I got a parallel park. Show y'all these driving skills real quick. Show y'all these fast X driving skills. Hold on. Ugh. Ain't gonna hit nobody's car. Who like that, bro? Who could drive like this? Name somebody, bro, down in the comments. We are on Main Street. Do I have any other packages from Main Street? No, so this is gotta be the other package. My God, slow down, bro. You almost hit me. I'm gonna back your head like some neck bones. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Well, well excuse me. I say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. No, you don't. Movie. True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith White. See, Meredith, if you take it this level of disrespect, me personally, I would never take it. So, how's business? It's... it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> Guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Other than enjoy the scenery. Well, it was the nice maids. meeting you, Miss Eastman. Here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss, but touche, Angie. I'll check it out about time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. That conversation was way too long. I just pray this music is not copyrighted. No, this is a dumb move. This is a dumb move. This is a very dumb move because I have to go deliver the package over here. Are you home? We have established communication with ground control. Tell them we landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Yep. We're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. Clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Sounds like you're doing... Oh, this is actually... He's just after the challenger broke up, huh? I had no idea. Porter Barry well, is a crazy nickname. a lot can happen in 22 years. I guess so. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. Good to see you, Kay. All right, that was a boring conversation. That was very unneeded, but got through this whole entire section. So now we just have to go straight 
down, turn right here, get this, and then make it all the way around the lake, and then make it all the way back, and however much time I have left. So, let's see how we do this. Uh, I mean, stop. I got. Did not just deliver mail to this family. No, it was it was the one that saw it. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Bigler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Here we go. We're back again with Cat Lady. Listen, mama, just take your mail. Dear, so glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. I don't got What's time for this. It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, he just wasn't. Mm, I'm, I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet. You know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Matt. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Ain't I don't for the think happy I chief. can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. But can you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? Oh, no more more like that. Well, it's my first week, so no, I can't. I'll find someone else. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meryl. Oh, she got your mail. All right, bro. Now she got to deliver mail to the other side. She talking about, can you take my dog? Do you even cat stuff, man? Does this look like a cat service to you, man? It's a mail truck. Where he gonna be at? In the back? With the packages? Yeah, not, not having a chief. All right. Now it's time to make the longest journey of my life around this lake. This fat old fat old lake. Oh, we're coming up on it. W that wasn't that long. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute. I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Oh my God. Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right, y'all. That was uh, that was Lake, man. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about this game. You know, it's cool. But if y'all want more of it, man, I already know what to do. Make sure that like button. Hit the subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button, and uh, make sure to comment down below, man. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the banger, banger, man. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.